Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for July 15th, 16th, and 17th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now, this is just the introduction. It will be on all the videos. So, it's not the same video, but it is the same introduction. I will post down there in the um, description a timestamp so that you can bypass the introduction, you know, for if you cross-watch your rising, ascending moon, Jupiter, Mars, you know, all of that, Mercury, Venus. So if you cross-watch, you can, you know, you can just bypass. I hope you watch the introduction at least once. Anyway, when I am doing my weekend readings, I generally use my Radley Valentine Angel Tarot cards, and I will be using my John Holland Psychic and Tarot cards, okay? Psychic Tarot Oracle cards, and also my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now, for this, the introduction, I will be using an overview of just what is going on in the world, and I will be using my Weight Rider deck, and I'm going to pull one from my Osha Zen Tarot cards. We're going to pull Osha Zen out for a little bit. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest, okay? Uh, what's going on? We just had the full moon in um, on, or we're about to have the full moon on the 13th. It's got a really strong energy to it. 2.37 p.m. Central, uh, Central's time, I have it here. That might be Eastern time. We also have July 17th, 9.33 p.m. Eastern Central, e Eastern Standard Time, Venus enters Cancer. Now, Mercury is already in Cancer, so, you know, communications may not necessarily be as harsh. Cancer likes to um, get the message through, but without the harshness of some of the other energies. And now we have Venus. So this could be a weekend of a lot of feels, a lot of emotional tuggings, okay? Now, we do have the Schumann Resonance. I did post something today, and I will try to post when I see something that's a little bit odd, um, like those big white spikes, I will post them at that time. And anything else, look on my community page, look at my Facebook, my Instagram pages also. Okay, so let's see. Let's just do a, um, an overview. Let's ask, you know, higher power, because I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself to higher power, God, Source, Holy Spirit, and ask what's, what's going on, and just let the words flow through, Okay. So let's see what we have here and let the cards speak for themselves or speak. Let's see what we have for this weekend. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, July 15th, 16th, 17th. We are getting closer to Leo season and planets will be going into Leo soon, like Mercury and then I think even Venus. But let's see what we have going on here. Come on now, what do we have higher power? What's going on in this world? What's going on in this world? that we need to be aware of, that we need to know that you are in control of, that you're letting us know so that when these things happen, we are at peace. Here we go. One, two, and three. Three cards are face down. And yes, it does help for me to put my glasses on. Here we go. Okay, anything reversed has a little stronger energy. Let's see. Okay, so we have a reversed cup. We have an eight. Eight is a very, um, you know, unlimited opportunities and possibilities. You know, think of it as the infinity sign, but yet it's straight. So there's a lot of things that could be happening, but and there's so many possibilities going on. This is cup energy, and cup energy is our Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, fluid and emotional energy. Um, we are in cancer season. There's a lot of, you know, Neptune's in Pisces right now. Um, the south node is in Scorpio. So there is a lot of this water energy, this very fluid, very emotional. And remember, Venus and Mercury, um, well, Mercury is in cancer and Venus is coming into cancer, okay? So there is going to be this very emotional, strong, um, you know, maybe communications, but We've, and didn't we get the Eight of Cups recently in one of the overviews? Because the Eight of Cups is walking away. The Eight of Cups is leaving something behind, something that may not necessarily be, um, may not necessarily be 
great for us, harm, you know, may be something that we don't necessarily want to work with or deal with anymore. But it is walking away. It is starting on a new journey. I do like how there is the, you know, these five cups are joined together along with these three cups. So it is something that it is for our betterment. It is for our good. And, you know, because this is walking away. This is the five of cups, if you want to look at it that way. And this is that things are happening for our own good. It may not necessarily be easy. It may not necessarily be um, something that we even want. But then the Three of Cups, if you look one, two, three, that has a celebratory energy. That has a um, creative energy. And there's also that power of three. However, this person is not just walking away. This person has taken some steps to move totally away and is going on a new journey. Okay, let's see what we've got here. And there is our good old moon. Anyway, let's see what we've got here. Next card. So now we have the five of rods or wands. This is our Leo energy, our, so, uh, our Sagittarius energy, and it's also our Aries energy. Um, you know, there's still things going on. We're about to go into Leo season. Things going on in Aries right now. And, you know, what is it? Jupiter's in Aries. This is struggle. This is a struggle, but it's not necessarily a harsh struggle, but it's a struggle, and it's tiring, and it's just like, I want to get this over with, I, you know, but yet at the same time, you know, are we, you know, we're, we're struggling amongst each other, and it, it's just kind of play acting in some ways. There's not really any major intent, but yet it's still a struggle, and nobody wants to back down on this. Nobody wants to move away from this. So it, it's kind of like if one person broke away, then the others would break away too, um, you know, but it's just kind of like, no. So there's a lot of stubbornness with this energy too. So let's see what this next card has here. We have the emperor. So we have the emperor. So that is a four energy. Four has stability. It also has um, um, organization. It also has leadership. Now, this is a major arcana. Um, you know, the emperor is a little bit more than that, those king's energy. The king, you know, the emperor is, is very wise, is very know-all, see-all, you, know, you know, can observe all. Now, the emperor also has a very ruling energy with this. Now, sometimes I can feel like the emperor in some of the decks is the masculine divine, whereas the empress is the feminine divine. So I do pick that up. But at the same time, I feel like there's this higher power, you know, God, well, I do, you know, higher power, God, whoever that is for you. And it is, it is watching, it is maintaining, it is um, connecting. It's also getting ready to make their move, to make his move, to make her move, okay? So there is, again, there's this walking away energy, there's this struggling, nobody wants to really back down, but yet nobody's really trying too hard to win, um, you know, just if everybody just, if one person would just say enough is enough, and then we have that emperor, that emperor that's just watching and waiting and overseeing all of this going on. So who knows what this all means? Let me know, okay? Let me know what you're reading from these cards. Okay, let's see what we've got here now, our Osha Zen Tarot card. Higher power, what do you want to say about this? What do you want to say with this? There, you know, that moon energy is watching us. That moon energy is watching us. Um, you know, it's just, you know, and that, that the five, it's just that we've got, you know, there's been, these people have gotten used to the struggle and they're not even seeing that they could put down their, their rods or their wands. They're just used to the struggle. You know, the um, emperor, eh, I'm not necessarily feeling real, kind and mushy energy for it towards the emperor i kind of feel like the emperor is almost um moving you know, it's kind of um pushing this pushing this along and pushing this forward so it it's kind of um one of these things too is the are these choices that we have do we have a choice to walk away or do we have a choice to um you know just kind of stay in the struggle i don't know the Emperor, major, major Arcana, a lot of times has Michael energy, the Archangel Michael. And Archangel Michael is the, um, you know, the Archangel over the, the divine, the angelic um, warriors, if you want to say, you know, protector and such like that. But just kind of feel like the Emperor is just watching and waiting, watching and waiting. Anyway, 
let's see what we have here with Osha Zen Tarot cards. We're going to cut. We're just going to take one. Okay, so now we have, again, reversed. We have a three. We have a three in the major arcana. So we have the male, um, you know, the male divine energy, the masculine divine energy, and now we have the feminine divine energy. We have the, you know, we have the um, empress energy here. This is all about creativity. Again, there is something with the moon cycles. So whatever this is happening, the it's kind of, I don't know if this is a yin and yang, yang type of thing, yin and yang, um, but this is, again, you know, the three is creative, is celebratory, is very much, um, you know, the power of three. You say something, do something three times, things can be happening with that. So this is, but this is also a lot of things creative. So whatever, whatever this is, Again, I feel like the emperor, the divine masculine energy, is kind of want, you know watching, but yet I feel like the you know the creative energy, the um, you know the empress energy, possibly like Holy Spirit type of energy, uh, is wanting to create something better and something more. And actually, it you know the create the creativity. Uh, a lot of times, the empress she's pregnant, she's waiting, she's waiting for that right time. We do have that moon energy again, and we have a lot of colors and a lot of possibilities with this. So, interesting, I don't know, walking away, struggling, watching, growing, creating, things are happening, the energies are speaking. Anyway, interesting, let me know, let me know my, um, you know, everybody out there, what it is that you're seeing with this because uh, we do have the masculine and the feminine divine energies here and kind of feeling like it's an either or with that eight of cups and that five of rods and wands. Okay, please take a moment, let comment, let me know what this means to you, what you're seeing, because I love that interaction. So, you know, so comment, but also take a moment to like, share, subscribe, Click on the bell for notifications. You really help um, keep my channel going and me motivated, so thank you. It does help, so thank you very much. And why don't we start the readings now? And hello to my Cappies. My Capricorns, how are you doing? Is it, are you ready for this weekend? We've got your full moon. You know, I'm doing this on a Tuesday, so tomorrow's your full moon. Embrace it. Embrace the change. Let it um, fortify you, okay? Let it strengthen you, too. And then go forth into this next season stronger than you've ever been. Anyway, let's see. Higher power, what do we have for our Capricorns? I really feel that there's a strength. There's strength, strength in numbers, strength in spiritual energies. There's strength. I just feel strength for you. Okay, let's see what that is all about. Let's see. So one, two, and three. The first one's reversed. Here we go. Page of Fire. Now, Page's underlying energy is Earth energy, your energy. So it is... Uh, you know, job, money, career, tangible, home type of thing. And pages are very eager. They want to get started. They want to get moving. Fire energy is our Leo, which is right around the corner. Um, Aries, Jupiter is in Aries right now, and Sagittarius. So this is very passionate, burning, very determined. The, pager, the page is a bearer of news. The page is one that just says, let's get started. Let's do this. I want this. This is something. So there's a there's a quick there's a changeover. There's a change up coming for you, my my Capricorns, this weekend. There's something that just really lights your fire. It really gets you going. It reaches you on that material level, on that tangible level. Level. It it could be it could be a brand new uh, it could be a brand new job, but it's really something that makes you excited. It's a new idea. Maybe you're starting. Um, a new relationship. And remember, relationships can be your job. It can be intimate. It can be something with a family or a home. It just excites you to this point of possibilities. It's like you're thinking of all these possibilities and all these ways to make things happen. Okay, 
So the page of fire is outgoing, creative, confident, mischievous. News of an exciting new endeavor. Use your originality and ingenuity. So whatever this is, you can definitely, um, you can grab onto this. You can grab onto this. It makes you excited. It makes you happy. It lifts your spirits. It gives you something to look forward to also. Your next card is the Eight of Earth. So this is your, your energy, okay? This is your energy. It's also Taurus and Virgo, and yours and Taurus are pretty strong right now. Virgo is going to get there. But again, money, job, career, your home, your tangible energy. Eight has unlimited opportunities. There is so many possibilities with this. There's so much creativity with this. There's so much things, so many things that you've been preparing. Now, a lot of this goes with that job, but this could be a home environment too. This could be selling your home, buying a home. This could be um, a relationship. Again, I, you know, a relationship doesn't just have to be your job. It could be that. Um, you know, that intimate relationship, you've put the time in, you've put the um, efforts in, you have done the work, you have made the changes. It could also be that you've made some changes for yourself and now you've brought, you know, because you've brought your, vib I'm talking a lot about vibrations for this weekend, you've brought your vibrations to a higher level because Capricorns, you can get into that lower vibrational level, but now it's time for you to sing. Now it's time for you to you know, to have that, you know, what is it, the um, 4, 432, I might be wrong with that, the megahertz, you know, it's time for you to bring that, your vibrations to a higher level and to really strive and go for, and go for the gold even. Okay, skilled work is rewarded, learning all there is to know about a topic, going back to school. Next card, the king of water. So kings, remember, um, court cards, underlying energies, two energies to it. What you see plus the underlying. So the king's energy is swords. It's air. Again, that is our um, Aquarius, our Libra, our Gemini. Gemini, Venus is still in Gemini until the night of, what did I say it was, until the night of the 17th when it switches over to Cancer. So there is, you know, it is very much that air energy, that thought process is very, the king of air is extremely wise, very much of a ruler. But the king of water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and again, we're flipping that. So there could be something with a very personal relationship. I feel like that could be flipping. The king of water, when I was talking about you've done the work, this is you've done the work. You've done the emotional work. You've, you've been working hard on Again, bringing yourself to a more, to a stronger emotional quotient, okay? You're more maturity, but yet at the same, more loving, more caring. You've been doing the work. And now the king of water is telling you, you've done a lot. You've done a lot. You've grown. What is it? Go after what you want. Go after your heart's desire. So the king of water, you know, I, I, I do talk about the king of water as somebody who's been through the highs and the lows the depths and despairs and the uh, you know and the exhilarations and has come out in a better place okay so and i do feel like whatever this is that you've done the work i do feel like it is something to do with the king of water you've done the work emotional growth um, emotional maturity but again the king of water um, is about following your heart too so trustworthy compassionate respected and cultured Open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy and heartfelt advice. Charity work. So this is loving. This is very loving, very exciting, very, you know, very much you have been do, you have been working on you. You've been working on creating something for, for whatever this, for whatever relationship this is, work, job, personal, intimate. And this is one of those weekends that you should see some rewards for it. Okay. I like that. I like that. So let's see. Oops, nope, nope, nope. John Holland, Psychic Tarot and Oracle Cards for my Cappies, my Capricorns. What do we have for them? What do we have for my Capricorns here? Higher, higher power, God, Source. What do we have? Okay, this one wants to float off. Fertility! Fertility. Now this is reversed. This is the Empress. And remember, we had... 
creativity in the beginning in the introduction so take a look at this this is a new this is something that has been birthing uh, this is conception this is things are happening this is you know we have heart chakra so your heart is growing she is preparing her arms now generally this is the this is the empress generally you will see her pregnant and waiting and just getting very much at peace with this also so again you are birthing something you are preparing something you have conceived something you have created something something that you have really worked hard and you know you're excited and the king of water is like go for it go for it so let's see let's see and again too this was in the like i said that was creativity in the um introduction this is the empress energy a lot of times the empress is also karma being paid also you know a lot of times uh the empress brings you just kind of brings you good things just because you know we might not deserve it but it's kind of like i've you know the empress the empress has a lot of caring the empress offers you offers us a lot of a lot of possibilities it is up to us whether we choose to take it or not okay the empress wants us to be blessed so here we go what cre what crystal or energy is there for my capricorn so yeah this is there's a lot of be blessings be blessed type of energy here so let's see what it is we have for our capricorns do you choose to okay turquoise turquoise is this i think i have my turquoise here turquoise leadership qualities clear communications prosperity success so there's a lot of blessings here there's a lot of love here there's a lot of possibilities here okay so my capricorns things are opening up for you follow your heart okay take a moment please to like share subscribe click on that bell for notifications as always though my cappies know that you are loved stay shining and be blessed bye bye